all heard about manna, the mystical bread that the Israelites were given while they were wandering in the wilderness. But did you know that there's also another source of manna that's been hidden for millenniums that people can still get? In the book of Revelation, Jesus is giving warning, criticism, and encouragement to a group of churches in Asia Minor, specifically during his address to the early Christians located in Pergamos, which is now in modern-day Turkey, Jesus makes the promise that those who are able to overcome the wicked culture and practices around them will be given something called hidden manna. This is what he said, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat. And I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written which no one knows except for him who receives it. So what is hidden manna? Whether this is a physical or metaphorical mention of a type of food is a mystery to all of us, although I personally believe that this is intended to be an allegory. If you remember the Israelites' journey to the Promised Land, God provided the hungry travelers with bread from heaven. This bread was given the name manna, and while we often call this divine substance bread, the Israelites didn't actually know what material the stuff was made of, nor was it directly explained in the scriptures. Exodus 16.31 says that it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. There are a couple of other verses that further describe the manna in its appearance, yet what many may not realize is that this food, which was given to the children of Israel, was a foreshadowing to what was coming in the Lord Jesus Christ. The bread of life is the word of God, and the word of God is another name for Jesus. This hidden manna reserved for believers who are able to overcome the world and its temptations will be able to live eternally with the Lord and eat of the hidden manna. Eternal life is the true manna. Manna wasn't just about sustenance for the belly, but it also represents sustenance for the soul. The manna that was revealed to ancient Israel sustained them physically, but the hidden manna will sustain us for eternity. It's only through our salvation through the redemptive work of Christ and the sacrifice that he made on the cross that we can obtain the hidden manna. So I encourage you today to surrender your life to him so that you can have your share of the hidden manna reserved for believers. If you would like to support the channel, then please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos so that we can spread the word of God and show as many as possible how great our Lord and Savior is.